It sounds like a pig. It sounds like cross between a pig and a duck. I got the heat up. You play in this thing, it's so warm in here. Come feel how hot this is in here. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Do you guys feel that? <laughs> That's my bad. Well, I started it. There's frost all over the windows. But that was an hour, hour ago. I thought we were leaving. It's real warm in here, Wade. I've had the heat on for a long time. <laughs> Have you ever been to Arizona, Zach? I went to the Grand Canyon with my parents about eighth grade, I think. It changed your life, didn't it? it yeah. The Grand Canyon was one, is still to this day been one of the were probably the craziest thing I've ever seen. I remember you saying that. I used to live like six miles from the Grand Canyon, and we saw every time somebody would come in, we'd go up to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> so so it's after not, a while, not I'm that like, special. It's just a big freaking ditch, man. It's <laughs> just <laughs> a big canyon. What the hell? <laughs> So when you're looking for the birds, are you looking for them in lower elevations or? So kind of what I key in on these oaks, they're a digger and you'll look at the nails on them uh -huh. and they've got really long toenails. So they basically scratch and dig and they, you'll, they eat tubers. You'll be able to see some of the sign on the ground okay. where they've been uh, digging. I did see some of that yesterday, but you guys were, I didn't point it out. Okay. I needed to, so if I see some today, I'll point it out. We can park anywhere. And, but I do look for, you know, these north facing slopes with uh, like 20 to 40 percent canopy or yeah, 20 to 40 percent canopy cover. And what they typically do, they'll roost on a grassy hill and then they'll feed into this oak stuff and start digging and scratching. You can find them about anywhere, but I, they tend to associate with these oak stringers. So and that usually is a little bit more centered around the canyons and water, right? right? Yeah, exactly. So and just uh, there's a, there's a microclimate underneath there that's conducive to what they eat, so that's yeah. why they key in on this stuff. Cool. But this should be a lot of fun, man. We should cover some ground. This is my great grandpa's 16 gauge that was handed down by my grandpa probably a year ago. Shot a lot of pheasants with this in Wisconsin when there was a lot of pheasants. Hoping to bust some quail with it. If it's just like once, or like, it'll either be like, if you hear that, it'll be turning them. If you just hear it just once or twice, it's either me just trying to see where he's at or turning them. But it, it'll go beep, beep, beep. That means he's standing still. He's right. You gonna do a little intro, man? Yeah. I'm pretty much just gonna turn it over to you guys, though. Really? <laughs> yeah, because you got the experience. I don't really know what exactly we're doing. I'm just yeah. hoping to shoot at some more quail and hit one. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, well, this, is our, this is our second day in Arizona. Uh, I missed five times yesterday. It's a tougher situation yeah. yesterday. We were, weren't in great spots for shots and pretty closed canopy on some of them. Then we had uh, five singles that were either from been broken up from before and the dogs are tracking. These dogs will track them and a lot of times they'll, the birds will flush out in front of these dogs. So those are, if you see that, you've got to stay up with the dog. Mm -hmm. And so we didn't do a very good job of that yesterday. And then when we did, we missed. Yep. So <laughs> trying a completely new area today, though. And yeah. we got two experienced dogs and um, somebody that actually hit a couple birds with us yesterday. So. <laughs> yeah, that will be fun. So we'll just kind of walk these canes and hopefully the dogs will pick up bird scent and start working up some of the edges. Um, I'm kind of guessing most of these birds are going to be on that north facing slope. And we'll just work the canyon up till we start to run to the top and then we'll hit over another one and come back down another one uh, over here and I know I've seen birds in both of these so hopefully we get into them that'll be fun okay. <laughs> right, I'll stay down here then you want to run about mid slope with yep. me then man I feel a lot better today than I did yesterday What we can do is work up to where that peak is, 
and then cut through the saddle to the left. See what we find. There's water down there for the dogs too. <laughs> you see that big cut on the side of his tongue right there? Yeah. I gotta show you a picture of that when we get back. Oh nice. We're out pheasant hunting and snagged it. On what? Uh, something. Oh, this one He's pouring blood though. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, tongue, yeah. tongue wounds bleed a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one's got a big scar right here from a rattlesnake bite. All right, we're, we're, we're going to go find a bird this time. Let's find a bird. Bird's up here. You're going to find a bird, Jacob. You sniff them out. <laughs> got to be a bird in here. See if she can work it out. Good girl, find the birds. Freaking one dead. <laughs> Had to make sure where they were at, but. This one might be just off the ledge. Shy, come here. Ooh, that smells good. I'd walk up to where she's at. She's yeah. still holding point. <laughs> wow. I see the bird. Yeah. See it right there? Yep, I see it. it. Might be the wounded one. Whoa. See the bird? Yeah. Oh! Drop the girl. Good girl. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Good girl, Good job. Good girl. Thanks, Ben. Good dog. Yeah, it looked like he went down over that way. And this is what I was talking about, the claws. Mm -hmm. Look at the length of those things. They're amazing. So you can tell what they're made for. Just digging tubers. And I'd often I'll open up their crops just to see what they're eating. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times there's tuber in them, but a lot of times there's some mesquite beans or uh, cat claw beans, just different seeds. So it's kind of kind of cool. This one was pretty close when it got hit. So. That's the one you hit? Yeah. It was one of those quick swing kind of things. Yeah, you looked confident when you shot. You look more confident than I've ever shot at a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's no meat messed up. <laughs> yeah. That'd be perfect. I'm fired up. Did you get a shot? I didn't, but I'm fired up. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Tell everybody what happened. Well, we just, uh, I was telling Zach, I'm like, just give me a rabbit. And like probably a minute later, less yeah. than that. Matt got the camera. <laughs> yeah, right after he cut the camera. One popped up in front of me. I got two shots off. I thought I'd, the shot looked good. It was in some brush on the last shot, but went down by Tyler and he finished it off. So we got some meat, hopefully. Oh, see. Huh? Nice. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> he came right to you, huh? Oh, I was over there. He came right up through there. <laughs> nice. Little 30 yard cross. Nice. I'll throw him in my vest, Ted's vest. Took Ted's today because he's got that pouch. Mine's just a deer hunting vest.
It is nice having more guns too. Yeah. I mean, then somebody's at least one person's probably going to get a good shot if you yeah. do like that. You have a lot more opportunity to interact too, which is cool yeah. out here. You know, it's not like it's yeah. kind of like when you're sitting there glassing, you can talk a lot, but yeah. when you're in the actual hunting, it's... Yeah, there's not a lot of styles of, like, big game hunting where you can just right. be <laughs> talking and... Right. Different kind of hunting, but it's fun. What's fun to do, too. And, I mean, especially if you're hitting a bunch of cubby, you hit a cubby like that, maybe get one on the cubby rise, and you go and chase singles and maybe get one or two. Um, you know, but if you don't wipe out a cubby, then that year after year, they're going to be in that same area. Uh, you know, so there's really no need to hit them and just work singles and singles and singles. You Stay know? after them yeah. and keep pushing them. Yeah. You really don't get a lot of singles. I mean, it's just they're tougher to, for the dogs to find. Or just, But the idea is you got to leave. You want to leave a good bunch there for next year so you know you can go back there year after year. And Not just wipe them out. Yeah. If it's been hit, it might not be real good. But Something like that, I think we could be able to walk and find some birds maybe. Let's go, let's go look at that. It's right there at the bend there. Come on, Oak. Switch off this color. <laughs> I need to close that gate real quick. There might be some cows getting through. <laughs> That's Daddy's right. smarter than that fence. Yeah, he's smarter than the gate, boy. My <laughs> grandpa always said to me, you ain't as dumb as you look whenever I would do something like halfway decent. <laughs> I like that. No, my dad was always, I don't, I don't call you son because you're bright. <laughs> <laughs> god dang rabbit. Up, going up. Oh, god dang. I think you got her. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> eating, <laughs> eating it all apart. Good job, Jacob. That's a good shot. I never saw it, but it's right up there behind that green bush. Five thirty yards. I had to stop the canoe in my mouth so I had my hands free. It's a full bar. It's right here by the rock, wasn't it? Yeah, it should be right in here somewhere. There it is, Shadow. Come on. Hey, good girl, Jack. Yep. The barrel, the barrel. Official now. We got more rabbits than we do quail. <laughs> I'll take anything. Come on, let's go see what else we can find. I'll just turn them into rabbit dogs. <laughs> no stinking quail dogs. Are they already coming down? Oh God, I didn't go with them. All right, that was a productive walk. <laughs> yeah, wow. Got a rabbit right, right off the fence there. I can just see it flash through the trees. Glad we had some firepower associated with us here. <laughs> That's what that 16 gauge is for. Yeah. <laughs> shot a lot of, I've shot a lot of rabbits with it. I've never shot, still haven't shot nothing game bird with it. All right, tell everybody what how I messed up. I'm restocking on shells because we literally just, well, they flushed right by that green little bush up there. The dog just like literally just got up there and everybody was barely loaded up. I shot twice, one held tight, and Matt dropped it up there. So, yeah, I can't film with, I can't film with uh, my hands in the beef jerky bag. Oakley's on point. on point. Hold on here, guys. Hey, right below you, Oakley's on point. I'm coming up. Where she went on point? Easy. Yeah, where she flushed that one right down there. I think she came up here. There you go. <laughs> Buddy. Did you get oh, that or did oh, I? I didn't shoot. <laughs> I blacked out. <laughs> well, I don't know if he shot the same time I did. Girl, CJ, bring it here. I get dropped when I shot. Cool. No, that's awesome. Up. Yeah, I shot through these trees right here, but none of the dogs picked it up yet, right? Come here. I don't think oh. so, no. Was, she was down on it. It rolled, like, right there, though. Yeah, it just went right over the ledge here. There you got it down there. Good dog. Bring it here. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. Congratulations, man. Yeah. Sweet. Look at the view, too.
Yeah, Oakley had that bird pegged. That was awesome. Yeah, that was good. And I went up there and let her loose because, and then she bumped and it bumped. So. so let's just go around this hill just a little bit and we'll go back down in here. That was freaking crazy. I didn't expect. Maybe we're in the wrong. I don't know anything about Merns, dude. <laughs> they weren't supposed to be there. Good girl, Oakley. You're running good, dog. Was it? Rabbit? Shiloh has a rabbit? Yeah. Come on, Shy. Good girl. <laughs> Drop. Good girl. Nobody's gonna watch you for your quail hunting abilities. It's all your your quail your rabbit retrieving. Just a meat gatherer, it doesn't matter what. That's right. <laughs> Good girl. Alright, let's go find another rabbit, I guess. <laughs> That feeling after you hit one quail out of eight. <laughs> People on YouTube are just thinking, dude, Jake's feeling pretty tough for only hitting one out of eight. <laughs> you guys want to go over the top? We can just kind of start looping back. I'll just parallel you. You go where you think we need to, and I'll just be over here. All right. I'm going to go right up this canyon here. Sounds good. I went off to the left. She's standing still. Oh, those were gambles. Bunch of them went out that way. Those are our gambles. <laughs> Got one down right there where she's at. There was a bunch. Was there? I don't know how many, but had a girl shy. <coughs> That's a gamble's hen. Cool. You saw birds go that way? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them that pitched down in yeah, there. Yeah, a bunch of them went that way. That's oh, I saw a bunch going that way, too. Yeah. There was probably 10 of them that went down into there. Yeah. There's a lot of birds that were right behind Wade's head, so we're just going to dive down in here. He got the one. We're going to try if we can give him the flush one more time. There's right a lot before. of flu behind Wade's yeah. head that I couldn't see. Yeah. Right? Just starting to get into a mess of them now, son. Hey there, girl, Shiloh. Yeah, I think she's a lot of them right now, right there. Shock. Hold. Drop, good girl. 
Another hand. Yeah, we, we get right I honestly through. thought that might be a morning dove, so I didn't shoot at it. So I didn't shoot. <laughs> Good decision, Jacob. Should be more in here, I think. My quail hunting experience. <laughs> Come on, Oak. <laughs> well, what did we end up with? Six? I got one. That was easy to count. One that's easy to count. We had, we had four and four on the way out of here, so we got two. So we had six, six quail and four rabbits. Getting to that amount where we might be able to make some sort of meal. All right, let's go eat something. Yeah. Got some meats down today. I got my first quail and two rabbits, I think. Decent amount of shooting. Yeah, it was fun getting some shots and actually getting into situations where we could. Yeah, that was cool watching done. her tra start tracking that last one and then yeah. how far they tracked it before they actually flushed. Yeah, it's neat to watch when they when they get. And you know when she's on. Mm -hmm. Oakley, I'm still trying to figure out. <laughs> she's getting there. Uh -huh. So it's cool. No, it was a good day. Yeah. It's a fun day. Just yeah. hanging out and. A lot of, there's a ton of opportunity here, you know, if you just get out and yeah. run around and do it. It's all yeah. public. A lot, of the, a lot of the coveys that we flush were real close to the road, too. It's just a matter of finding where yeah. people haven't been, it seems like. Yeah, those gambles were really tucked up into that. Most people would no. be tough to find those. Yeah. So, well, cool. Let's head back, man. Yeah, hopefully those guys got after some bucks today. They're probably after one right now. Hopefully. Or javelina. It'd be nice yeah. to try some javelina. Yeah.